24 years I've been drinking in this pub. Never again. Look at my down market. They've turned Shergar into dog meat. Can't wait. Well, once a booking's been made, that's what you call a contractual agreement. You sound more like a lawyer than a stripper. I'm a medical student, actually. The other part is rubbish when the stripper starts getting dressed. I told you we should have gone into town. Stella! What the hell's going on? I've only been gone a couple of days and the old place has gone to rack and ruin. Don't start pointing the finger at me. I left you in charge. Yeah, I know. And but... what the hell's she doing here? Charming. We're not that kind of place. And why is everybody drinking bottled beer? The ale ran out. <laughs> I leave you to manage a pub and you can't even keep it stocked full of ale. What kind of a pub manager are you? Yeah, well, you should have warned me. I mean, me. I knew they'd be teething troubles, but I didn't expect to come back and find my window put through, punters brawling on the street, and my longest serving customer vowing never to step foot in the place again. Hey, but look on the bright side. At least the stripper's a little cracker. Thank you. At least somebody appreciates me. This is none of my doing. Right, well, you can pack your bags because you're sacked. Get out. What the hell's she doing here? Hey, Olivia, love, what are you doing here? Has the penny dropped yet? Yeah, come on, Henry. Oh, wild west in there. Shall we go somewhere quieter? Dean's gate locks on a Friday night. Be quieter than in there. <laughs> Look, it's no big deal. Are we going or not? What do you mean, no big deal? Hang on a minute, Gary. You lied to me twice. Twice? First when Will came round, you never said out. Cos I forgot, I've just told you. And again today, when I told you what he said, you kept stumped. God, it's like being interrogated by the cops. They say, are you trying to catch me out? Look, somebody came round, I forgot to tell you, nobody died. What do you mean you forgot? I was here, in the flat. You answered the door, and by the time it took you to walk back in here, you forgot who you just answered the door to. <sighs> the guy's an idiot. Oh, so you do remember answering the door? Yes, officer. Yes. But you just chose not to tell me who it was and what they wanted. Do you make an habit out of not telling me stuff, Gary? What's that supposed to mean? It's freaky, this, the way you're acting. Oh, this is stupid. I'm going to my mum's. Are you coming or not? Don't you think we should sit down and oh, talk about right. it? that's right. Just blow it up. Way out of proportion. Make me out to be a flaming nut job. I'm the one who should be angry. Don't you no, 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 I'm done. I'm done. You walked out. And then I walked back in again. Yeah, but you wait until I want to hear. So you just announced to me that you want a divorce and you expect me to skulk off, do you? No. No way. This is my home. Wait, tell me she turned up. Oh, she's your wife. She does live here. Did? She left me. Oh, you're out of order. This ain't her fight. I left you in charge. Her surname trumps that. Oh, yeah, well, she wrap you around a little finger more like. Actually, she knows plenty about this pub. Oh, yeah, I bet you make a lovely little team. Look, I just do what I'm told, whether it's you or your wife giving me the orders. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Steve. I mean, what were we supposed to do? Mm, she's right, I did just walk in and talk over. I mean, my God. Imagine if I'd been gone for a week. The place probably wouldn't be standing. Or oh, was that the general idea? Oh, oh. Run the place into the ground. No. Right, well, I'm back now, and from now on, I give the orders. So let's get that window boarded up, and let's get the place cleaned up. Chess sends his world. Can I put it in front of the telly? No. Oh, come on. Come on, love. Anna's gone to a lot of trouble. Is she can do is sit and eat it. Who asked you? Oi! What's he doing here? He's our guest. That's very kind of you to ask us, isn't it, Katie? Well, you haven't tasted me cooking yet. <laughs> Actually, I'm not that hungry. I am. Looks lovely. I can't remember the last time I sat at a table and had a proper meal like this. Well, that's why I invited you. The more, the merrier. Oh. Hey, you give me skin. I hate skin. Well, just leave it on your plate. Hey, love. Right, no, is he? Didn't want to come. Why not? Don't ask me. Do you know what? I really don't think I can face it. Do you are. Why? Not like Izzy. It's just not turn up. Do I keep hers one? I don't know, do I? What, you two had a row then? Oh, I think you've hit the nail on the head. Hey, hey. I'm full. Me too. I'm not hungry either. <clears throat> Well, isn't this nice? And someone could put a window in for us then. Brilliant, thank you. The place had a much better vibe than our in charge. You know, the aim is to sell alcohol for money. It's called making a profit. Oh, shut it. You're either rich in Branson, I have seen the books. Oh, 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 yeah, I bet you had a right good nosy. Can me and Carl shoot off now? Oh, no, please stay and wait your notice. What, you still want to go? Yeah. Steve, you're out of order. None of this is their fault. Oh, don't worry, love. I re-employ you. Wanted to get a kid in the uh, I do the hiring and firing round here. Oh, yeah, do you now? Yes, I do. All oh, right. Well, Calm down, you two. I can't work for two masters. You don't have to. You're fired. Well, I don't know if I want the job anyway. 
I can't work for people I don't respect. Don't worry, I'll pay for it. She's right, we can't carry on like this. We need to talk. One way to measure the amount of wildlife... So, I said to you, is no reply? Around. I don't care. It's rude just to not just show up. Don't make a fuss, Owen. I don't mind. Oh, I do. I brought them up with manners. Well, I wish someone had taught Faye a few manners. Yeah, I didn't like to say. Well, I've got to cut her a bit of slack with what she's been through, but sometimes a bit of consideration. I'm going to worry, Gary. Oh, no, Owen, no, don't. don't worry. I'll be diplomatic, right? Gary, mate. What would you... So, uh, what's kicking off between you and her is? Look, she can be a right pain in the backside. Nobody knows that better than me. You know, I think I prefer it when you're on my back. Kind of freaks me out when you try and be all pally. But why don't you, why don't you just go around there, eh? Try and patch things up. Gary. I tried. Well, it's a bit quieter in here, isn't it? Yeah, and there's a decent chance at least half your drink might stop in the glass. Cheers. Cheers. Um, what was all that about? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna find a new local, though. This job's ruined. Crazy Chris. He was certainly fired up, wasn't he? Yeah, well, it's nice to see it's not just women he shoves around. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, it's idle gossip. Did you see his eyes bulging? Yeah. Well, he was sticking up for his girlfriend, I suppose. No, he's a thug. I don't know what Maria sees in him. Tell you what, though. She really did not like the idea of me and you going out, though, did she? Well, there's only one person around here whose opinion of me I care about. You. Should be order. You know what I really fancy? Chippy tea. So what are you doing here, Becky? Because you can't just waltz in like Waltz in you... like what? Like I own the place. I do. I own half. Oh, I see. Been to see a solicitor, have we? Don't need a solicitor. I've got a marriage certificate. Only, if you're thinking of taking me to the cleaners, newsflash, I am skint. You'll probably end up paying me maintenance. I have as much right to live here as you. So, this is round one, is it? Fine. Well, let's do it through the solicitors. You'll get your pound of flesh. But let's not play any more stupid stunts, eh? Let's not make the staff feel uncomfortable. Let's try and do this with a bit of dignity. Why don't you go and have a word with Roy and Ailey? What about? Well, I'm sure they'll be happy to put you up. Right. So I get their Z bed and you get the pub. No way. Well, you can't live here. It won't work. Right, then. You go and Roy and Ailey's Z bed. I'm not kidding, Steve. I ain't budging from here. It's a bit off-putting, don't you think? It's only temporary. And drafty. Still needs must. We could always go for a drink to Eileen's. Could we? Well, I've been meaning to pick your brains, Dennis. Oh, you're welcome, love. If he's any left. I'm hey. reading this magazine about family trees. Julie thinks we might be related. Well, you simply don't know. I intend to find out. The more information I can gather, the better picture I'll form. Would you like to join us, Rita? You know, I've not been inside that house since me and me mum lived there. Oh, oh <laughs> well, then it's only appropriate that that's where the next stage of our journey should begin. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Eileen. Ken, you are the heartbeat of my I almost pop. had a heart failure when that woman approached me. But be sure, give it a lipstick mark. Deirdre was most unimpressed. Well, any dry cleaning, I'll pick up the tab. I can't believe they had a stripper. In a community pub. Well, frankly, I'm very ashamed of all the things that happened in my absence, but needless to say, normal service has been resumed. You've got to get rid of those terrible people. Well, unfortunately, it's not them that was responsible. It was Becky. I know, I know, no one's more shocked than me. We're having problems. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, Tracy did tell me. Yeah. Well, if you could find it in your heart to visit us again, the drinks will most definitely be on the house. We'll see. So, you know what's happened then? Well, the phrase, hell hath no fury, was certainly written with Becky in mind. She's not a scorned woman, I never scorned her. <laughs> yeah, what you did was much, much worse. Can't believe you didn't warn me. I'm not your bar manager, I thought you knew. I'm too busy looking at paint samples and carpet swatches. 
didn't know you into that kind of thing. Neither did I until I saw how much of decorator costs here. Doors open. Hey. 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 Yeah. All right. Hey, I'll yeah. do. I'll do. Come in. Yeah, come in. Oh, thanks. Hi. 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 Oh, sorry, we're not late, are we? No, no, it's fine. It's just, uh, it's size bedtime, but he, he wanted to stay up to see you. Oh. I'll just, yeah. Oh, ta. So what was going on over at Road? I heard it was all kicking off at Rovers. Oh, <laughs> Becky was giving Steve a hard time. Yeah, he was furious to you, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, ah, si's got something for you. Si! Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> it's a raver for saving my mum. Oh! I got it clean for tea, actually. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I only did what anyone would do. Yeah, most people would have run a mile. Pubs and bookies, they trap the same clientele. Nothing I've never handled before. Anyway, give us your coat and uh, Peter will get you a drink and you get to bed. Go on. Can I do a word search? Yeah, of course you can. As long as it's good night. Very funny. Nice to meet you. Night. Bye. Bye. Oh, right little character, isn't he? <laughs> All I'm saying is you took a terrible risk. Stick it in, mate. Phone and social services, and it's all gone horribly wrong. Yeah, and I regret it till the day I die. It doesn't give her the right to take over the flipping pub. Well, Becky is not the type of woman to go quietly or empty handed. Waiting till they went away for a few days and then sneaking round there? She's your wife, mate. She doesn't have to sneak anywhere. She can go through the front door. What's yours is hers. What's hers is hers. Do you know they've got, um, 78 different versions of the colour white down there? You know what they all got in common? They're all the flipping same. Buy a tub of white, add a bit of white, juggle it about. You've got Puebla Blancos or Tundra Sunrise. This is cunning, this is. Totally unreasonable. I mean, even now I'm back, she won't flipping budge. This is war, mate. Well, I'm not having it. It was my pub while she was a thieving, flipping lowlife. I need to get her out of there before one of us kills each other. Well, if it comes to a straight fist fight, my money's on it. Well, she's got to get out. I'll have to throw her out. <laughs> not a good idea. Well, what else can I do? Grit your teeth and accept that you're going to spend stupid amounts on lawyers. In fact, more than I'm spending on off-white paint. All right, take your advice. Advice? When did I give you any advice? She's not going to leave without a fight or empty-handed, you said. Do I look OK? Yeah, you look great. I don't know why you're bothering getting friendly with the neighbours. We'll be moving again by the sounds of it. No, we won't. Well, why aren't you listening to Steve when he fired you? I can handle Steve. Anyway, I don't want to bore Leanne. Let's change the subject. Do you notice anything? Oh. Well, we've had two. Peter hasn't touched his. Only orange juice. Well, maybe you don't drink. Same in the pub. Why are you insinuating? Us pub managers have six cents about these things. Anything I can do to help? No, you're all right. Just waiting for Rice to cook. He's asleep. You could uh, you take your medal off now if you like. Oh, no way. I shall wear it with pride. He's a cracking little lad, isn't he? Yeah, well, I think they brought the mould when they made our side, that's for sure. <laughs> well, you have any more? Mm. I think one's enough for the time being. I'm uh, not actually Simon to your mum anyway, so... Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to pry. No, 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 it's fine. No, his, uh, his real mum died and I was a single dad when we got together. Yeah, but I'm the one who looks after him, so I think I should have the title. Hey, sorry, love. No, it's all right. No, you're only joking. I wasn't brought up by my real mum either. Weren't you? No, but it didn't do me any harm. I jammed with Fab, I loved it a bit. So, top up. Ta, you're not joining us. Oh no, no. Look, oh, sorry, I should have, uh, should have said I'm an alcoholic. Recovering. <laughs> well, that's a bit of a conversation stopper, that one. <laughs> I mean, does it not uh, bother you, like being around people who are drinking? No, no, not really. It gives me a chance to have a sneaky swig when nobody's looking. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> it is strange going back to a house you lived in. So many memories. Which um, I'm hoping that you'll share with me and my dictaphone. You what? Oh, this is not just a social call. This is research. 
I mean, one throwaway comment from Dennis could unlock the secret to generations of lost Grimshaws. <laughs> I'm not sure I've been much used to you, love. <clears throat> it might be a little bit off-putting, you know, you recording everything we say. Especially if we're drunk. I shall put it somewhere discreet. See? I soon forget it's there. <clears throat> so... Tell us a bit about your time at number 11. What do you want to know? <laughs> oh, names, ages, birthplaces of as many of Elsie's relatives as you can recall. Well, uh, <clears throat> there, there was her mother, my gran, Alice. The chips are given eight. The fish are given five. The batter's too soggy. Oh, an expert on it, are you? Yep. One day, I'll take you to Whitby and show you proper fish and chips. I thought you were more Barcelona or Milan guy. Milan chips. Rubbish. Can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. Last night, when I was a bit tired and emotional, I have a vague recollection of making a pass at you. You did. And you managed to resist. I did. All women are resistible when they're incapable. I see. Mm. I was still flattered, though. In fact, I've been thinking about it all day. If it was to happen again, I'm not sure I could resist a second time. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to sit here back in the top flight, but these billionaires buying off our crown jewels, I mean, it's all wrong, isn't it? Who do you support again? Well, Oldham. All oh, right, that explains it, then. Hey. So was Peter an alcoholic before you met him? Oh, no, I drove him to drink. Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. He had a problem long before that. I just helped him realise it, supported him. Very noble of you, taking on a single dad with a drink problem. I guess you didn't meet through an online dating agency. <laughs> well, mm. I've done things that I regret. People supported me. Is that your sister? Ah, oh, how tired you, yeah. <laughs> how old is she? Uh, she's 29. And that there is Jan, my stepmom, my dad. He's either an only child. No, uh, I had another one. A little girl. I lost it. Oh, no. Oh, can't imagine anything worse than that. Time mm. heals. Right, coffee, won't it? Please. Shall I crack open another bottle of red? Yeah, yeah, go for it. No, um, in fact, I think we should be going in a minute. Is he? Sit down. So tell me, what's going on? Bearing in mind, if I think you're holding back or lying again, we're finished. I mean it, Gary. I need a massive dollop of honesty before I can even contemplate a future with you. Is that serious? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Eva, you've got a customer. Becky. Just stop at that side of the bar. She'll serve you in a minute. I do live here, you know. Rent somewhere, why don't you? I'm sure Lloyd's got some room on his sofa. You wouldn't have a clue how to run this place. Even if I did go, you'd probably run it into the ground. <laughs> oh, well, we'll just see about that, won't we? How did we get to this? I don't know. You're the one that asked me for a divorce, didn't you? It doesn't mean we have to start tearing chunks out of each other. There is another way, Becky. I am prepared to be reasonable. You know, Steve, you'll be treating us like scum. And I'm not having it. I know, I you're mean, right. I mean, it's not our fault it all kicked off to... What? You can have your jobs as far as I'm concerned. I don't know what senior management think. Oh, well, I never wanted to sack him in the first place, did I? All right. Do you mind if we just have a couple of minutes on our own, please? Of course we don't. Come on, Carl. Hiya. How was your evening? Oh, fantastic. Lovely couple, weren't they, Carl? Well, he's all right for a red. <laughs> don't know what to say. I feel so stupid. So you should. I was jealous. Of Will? I know, I've got nothing to base it on, but you know what it's like when you get an idea in your head. And when did you get this stupid idea into your head? I don't know, a while back. Then you were on about going to Liverpool with him while I was at work. I should be flattered, I suppose, but I'm not, to be honest. It scares me. And then that text came through on your phone. I didn't even mean to read it. But you did. And when I saw it was from him, I thought, if I delete it, 
and it'll just be us like it ended up and we had a great weekend. But there's a bit in the middle though, isn't there, where you lie about Will coming round. Why didn't you just say I'd rather you didn't go? You never know, I might have said yes. I should have. For the record, I absolutely do not fancy Will. I don't know what I've done to give you that impression. Nothing. Nothing, it's just... <laughs> I worry about you when you're not here. I get scared that something's gonna happen to you. It sounds stupid, I know, but I will never, ever do anything like this again. I swear to you. Is he? I know it's hard. It's hard for both of us. Bring it on, I say. I'm lapping it up. I know I hurt you. But we've got to try and behave like grown-ups. But it's not fair on everybody else. Can't keep airing our dirty washing in public. I know it must have felt good seizing this place, but I'm not going to walk away. I can already hear the solicitors rubbing their hands with glee, but in the end, we will both lose out. Well, I'm not going anywhere, neither. I know, I know. You need somewhere to live. You need to make a fresh start, so... There you go. What's this? Five grand. It's all yours. Why? Deposit on a flat, or you can go away a holiday if you like. Leave. No, I'm not saying it's a final settlement. It's just to tide you over. I don't want your money. No? Then why did you do all this? Because I have as much right to live here as you. And I am not budging, Steve. I could probably stretch to six grand, but that's my final offer. I, I think you're confusing me with my sister here. <laughs> well, if the cap fits. What? You know, at least she admits to only being after one thing. How dare you talk to me like that? You know, I reckon you were always only after me for my money. That's why we got married. But you're not having this pub. Don't worry, I'll keep on the settee. But if you're stopping, so am I. Got to get on with it. I'm just grateful Larry's here. You know, we all say we, we want something that challenges through life, and this is a challenge. It's the last in this series. Tomorrow night, that's Baby Hospital at 9 on ITV1. Feel terrible because I'll be keeping my baby in prison, but the baby won't even know what's going on. And next, a new two-part series, Babies Behind Bars. Yeah.